What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am bringing to you this holiday makeup look. This is perfect for Christmas parties, perfect for any type of holiday event. This is like one of my favorite classic holiday makeup looks that I love to do, especially around Christmas time. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, let's jump in. What I'm going to use for this tutorial is the... Morphe 35R palette. This is actually like one of my favorite palettes from Morphe. It has all these really nice, rich brown shades. They're so pretty and warm. And then it has all these pretty golds and coppers on the side. If you're like one of those coppery warm tone girls, like moi, you're definitely gonna love this palette. I think it's around 20 or $22. The only thing I wish is that this palette had more of like a light transition shade. That's the only thing that I can say that I don't like about it. At least for me, it doesn't really have a shade where it's like a shade or two darker than your skin tone. I'm going to take this shade right here with my Sigma E40 brush. This is the type of shade that I would use maybe more of like a crease color shade because it is more of like a rich brown. We're going to make it work. So I'm just blending this in the crease as per usual. I actually want to lighten the shade up a bit because like I said, it's just a bit too dark. So what I'm gonna do is go in with this shade next. This has more of like a mustardy undertone to it. It's kind of like MAC uninterrupted. Not quite that mustardy, but very similar to it. I'm gonna go in with this right on top of that shade and it's gonna help lighten it up just a bit. The first shade that I put down is just a little too deep and a little too warm for a transition shade. So that's why I'm gonna go in with this one on top. I'm gonna go in with this color next. This is a very rich warm brown. This is actually my favorite color in the palette. It's so rich and intense. It's such a pretty color. I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E25 brush. I love this brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to use in the crease. It's so small. It really gets in there and blends out the color in the crease beautifully. I know I've mentioned this in a couple of my videos before. When I go in with a crease color, I actually like to look straight into my mirror and lay down the color. I use the fold of my eye as a guideline. I initially just like to lay down the color first. Then I take my blending brush and I'll close my eye and blend it up into the transition and then just really blend it out to make sure there's no harsh lines. I'm taking my Eco Tools brush. You guys, I wish I knew what this brush was. I truly just don't. I've honestly had it for years and years and years. It is so like beat up. I just love this brush though. I can't let it go. I am actually going to mix two colors for the outer V. I'm going to go in with this one right here and this one right here. This one is actually more of a warm tone, deep, deep brown. And then this one is more of a cool tone one. And the reason that I'm using these together is because I really want a very intense smoky outer V, but I don't like to use black. Now this is just a personal preference. I don't like black on me. I feel like it's just a little too harsh and I feel like it honestly just washes me out. So instead I'll just go in with a really, really deep brown. It's just not quite as harsh and I, I don't know, I just don't like black on me. I love a black smoky eye, but honestly I really have to be in the mood for it. After I lay that down with that packing brush, I like to go in with this brush. This is the M433 brush from Morphe and I'm gonna take those same two colors, just a dab of each, and I'm gonna actually tap off as much as possible, and I'm gonna go in and blend those colors out. So I really like to lay down the color first. I pack it on with a more dense brush because I really want as much intensity as possible, and then I like to go in and blend it out. I don't like to go in with a softer brush because I feel like it just takes forever to build up the intensity that I like. So I like to do this and Instead, I'm just going to go in with my original blending brush. I'm going to brush this up into those other transition shades. I'm going to go in and highlight my brow bone and to do that, I'm going to take this shade right here. It's a really pretty icy shade. I used to do like this whole part right here, but I've actually just been doing right under the arch is where I focus most of the highlight. I don't do anything up in the front anymore, and then with whatever I have left over, I'll very lightly brush it out to the rest of my brow. But I've really been liking it just right here. I feel like it's a little more subtle. It doesn't look so intense. So we're done with that palette for now. We're gonna move on to the glitter. And before I move on to my glitter, I'm gonna take my Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is my favorite glitter glue of all time. It is literally like super glue. 
take just the smallest amount. That's all I'm gonna take. You have to be careful when you use this. It just grabs everything. We're going in with the star of the show. This is the Stila Diamond Dust Magnificent Metal. It is so gorgeous. I actually like to use this straight from the applicator. I have tried to use this like on clients with a brush and it just doesn't apply as nicely. I'm just going to stop right here at the outer V and when I get to that part, I just gently dust this with the applicator lightly into the outer V. I want it to look like it's just fading into the outer V. We're gonna do a wing today because I feel like this festive type of look definitely calls for a wing, especially with all that glitter. I'll go in with my gel liner first. This is my Inglot gel liner, and I have this little tiny liner brush. This is from Morphe. It's the 250-1 you can use any liner brush for whatever reason liquid liner always like bunches up and gathers right here And I notice it will never stick to my inner corner and I find that I don't have that issue with gel liner I know it seems a little time-consuming because it is an extra step and you do have to go in with another product But this is what I find works for me for the tail of the wing, I'm gonna go in with my trusty NYC liquid liner. This is my favorite liquid liner of all time and existence of life. I do have a little bit of fallout from my shadow and I just wanna cut that part right there. I want it to be really sharp. I'm gonna take a little bit of my eye makeup remover. This is the up and up one. I get this at Target. I'm gonna take a Q-tip. I'm just going to clean this up. While I'm waiting for my liner to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lashes for falsies. This is the, I think it's pronounced Deuce, Max Lash Volumizer Mascara. I lost my L'Oreal Voluminous one. It literally just disappeared into thin air. I don't know where it is. And I got this in my Ipsy bag. It makes your lashes so thick and full. I never thought I would find another mascara that I like, but I actually really do like this one. Okay, for lashes, I'm gonna go in with these right here. These are the Vegas Nay and Ilore Grand Glamour Lashes, and these are my favorite, 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 favorite favorite lashes of all time. Did I mention they were my favorite? I already have a pair that are cut and fit to my eye. I go in from the top and I like to use the middle of my eye as a guide and then I just secure them with my tweezers. Let's move on to face because <laughs> my skin is looking a little rough. I already moisturized and primed my face. I did this off camera. I used this primer. I got this a couple of months ago. I think I showed it in another video. It's the Nip and Fab Smooth Viper Venom Micro Blur Fix. I only use it in my T-zone right here where I have pores and then where I'm super oily. It just fills in your pores so nicely and it does actually keep you really matte. I don't have any issues with with my foundation moving. On the rest of my face, I love this primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. This is one of my favorite primers of all time. I have been using this since before they reformulated it, um, whatever the old version was. That was like my holy grail primer. I like to use this on the outer perimeters of my face, on my cheeks, and my chin, where my skin is more normal. And that is actually my primer cocktail that I'm using right now. What I'm using for foundation is this right here. This is still one of my favorites. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is in the shade Golden Beige. And I just take a couple of dots and this color is so perfect for me. It has more of like a yellow undertone to it. It matches me perfectly right now. Moving on to my under eyes, I'm gonna take this Maybelline Master Camo Concealer. This is the yellow one. I don't use corrector all the time, but especially when I'm just feeling a little rough, I definitely need to correct because my under eye circles are so dark. I'm going in with my trusty Shape Tape. This is my one true love. I almost ran out of this and I went to go get another one and they didn't have my shade and I was like, what am I gonna do? And then I found it, it was hiding behind another concealer, and I was so happy we were reunited once again. I don't know what I would do without Shape Tape. I truly do not even think that I could live without it. That's how much I love this concealer. I 
also like to go a little heavier handed with my concealer whenever I'm doing a really dramatic eye. I feel like it really helps balance out all the dark shadows that we used. As soon as I'm done concealing, I immediately go in and set my concealer because my under eyes are really creasy. And to do that, I like to take Emphasize. This is from MAC. And I'm gonna go in with this because it's right next to it. This is Anastasia Banana. I love to mix these two colors together. I've been doing this for years and it just seems to work for me. For the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me. This is still my favorite powder, and this is in the shade Fair Light. I'm just gonna take this with my Sonia Kasha. This is a number 130 brush. It's just a power brush. I love this brush too, it's so soft. I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. I'm gonna go in with this bronzer. This is the Park Avenue Princess. I found this in one of my drawers and I totally forgot that I had this. I used to love this bronzer back in the day when I first started getting into makeup. This was one of my favorites. It's such a pretty bronzer. I'm just going around the perimeter of my face. I'm not doing anything too crazy because I'm still gonna go in and contour. I just love to bronze first. I feel like it makes my skin look so much more luminous when I go in and bronze first. We're we're gonna go in with this right here. This is NYX Sculpt. This is from their contour kit, but I have the single. I love my Real Technique contour brush. I've been using this for maybe four years now. This is my favorite brush ever to contour. I feel like it fits in the hollows of your cheeks so perfectly. I don't contour my forehead since I bronze. I'll take just a little bit of contour and go right around the temples just so everything connects. I'm also gonna take this, this is from NYX. This is Beach Babe. It's a really pretty bronzy blush. It's very pigmented, so I just go in with the lightest amount. It looks a little more harsh on camera, but it's actually not that harsh in person. It's just really, really bronzy. And then I'm gonna go back in with my Eco Tools brush. We're gonna blend everything together. This is my favorite part of course. And I'm gonna go in with the Dose of Colors highlight. This is the Desi Katie collab. This is in the shade Fuego. I just wish this collection wasn't limited edition because everything from that collab was so good. I haven't really been highlighting the whole bridge of my nose lately. I actually picked that tip up from my sister. She did my makeup when she was in town visiting. She did just the tip of my nose and then she did right in the center of the bridge without bringing it down the whole nose. And I've been loving the way that it's looking lately. Let me zoom you guys in for the lower lash line. I'm gonna take my E17 brush from Morphe that I've been loving, and I'm actually gonna go in with this really rich shade down here. This is the color that I used in my crease. I'm gonna take just the smallest amount because this color is so pigmented. I'm gonna go in with the colors that I used for my outer V, and that was this one right here, and then that really dark cool tone brown. I'm gonna take it with a flat definer brush. I'm just gonna press this very lightly against the lower lash line. This is gonna add a little bit of drama. And I'm gonna blend it out. To highlight my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the same shade that I used on my brow bone and this little tiny brush from Eco Tools. I just want to add a little bit of brightness in there, but I don't want it to outshine the glitter. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes off camera and then I'll come back and we'll do the lips. I'm gonna take this color right here. This is the ColourPop and I Love Sara E Liquid Lip in Arriba. If you want a Christmas lipstick, this is it, y'all. It is so gorgeous. I'm not gonna use a lip liner. I'm not really a lip liner kind of girl. The applicator is really nice and small. I really don't feel like I need a lip liner. So we're just gonna go in. Yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what else you want to see. I would be happy to do maybe a more toned down or a more natural holiday makeup look if that's what you guys want to see. Leave me any comments, your thoughts below in the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Gotta get a little mud on the tires. That's my man! Oh my god. 
every freaking time.